second best. Don't even think we were second best. Absolutely zero credit to be had today. Um, Bishops, Bishops Cleve should have won by more. Um, I'm at a loss really, and, and I didn't think I would see that before. They were pre-warned all week. Uh, what I will say, I thought training was flat all week because there was disappointment from the Welling game. I can't accept that. I can't accept that performance for, for Torquay United. Um, and, and, you know, it's, um, I, I could sit here all day. We didn't do this, we didn't, we did not, we didn't win a header, we didn't win a tackle. First half, we're playing into a, a, a really strong wind. Told them to turn them in behind them and play in their half. But we persist in playing short balls into midfield and Bishop Cleaver on us. Our physicality was non-existent. Our forward play was non-existent. Quality was non-existent. But ultimately, I, I can suffer a lack of quality in a football game. I've got no problem with that. No problem. But I'm... I'm I'm embarrassed. I'm embarrassed of that of that team today. You sometimes say that you learn more about players in defeats than you do in victories. Do you feel like you've learned a bit more about the players today? Well, I know which ones. Well, it wasn't one. There's not. There's not a player to come out of that with credit. Obviously, now all the attention. Sounds like an old old phrase, but it, it, does, it does. Don't people people will say right? Some people will say, "Ah, don't matter. We was never going to win the FA Cup." Some of the players might think that. That's outrageous. For Torquay United Football Club, when you when you're playing a game of football, and the manager and the assistant manager are shouting more than a player on the pitch, and I've got senior players on that football pitch, by the way. Boys that I, I believe in, let down. They seem like two simpli simplistic questions to ask, but how do you, where do you go from here? How do you put this just on the training field? That isn't, that, isn't, that, isn't a case of, that isn't a case of drawing a line under it, forget about it. We've had a good start in the league, we'll, we'll, we'll go back to work Monday. There has to be an element of that at some point, but not now. Not at this moment in time. That, that's got to sting. That has got to sting. And I'll say Bishop's Cleave, should have won by more. That's that's. There's got to be accountability. Yeah, that's that's just. Well, clearly you're disappointed. Appreciate you coming. That's 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 not good enough for talking about football club. You can clearly see you're upset and rightly so after that performance. Don just asked you there, is the players going to learn something? Are they going to learn the standards you expect or know when we are looking But they know the standards I expect of them. They, they know the standards I expect of them. That's why, that's why we've won games at home and away from home. When we started the season, OK. They know what I expect. They've turned up here, they've turned up here today. My players have turned up. Like they've got a divine right to turn up and just jolly through the game and win it. Oh, my God. Come on. Come on. I mean, and to be fair, there's, there's not even anything I can ask you positive, Paul. It was, there is no positive. Said, there is no positive. There's no positive today. Is it a case of you now need to try and get what your way inside their head, so to speak, and, and explain that this is unacceptable, that they need to up the oh, yeah, Listen, they, they've been told it's unacceptable. They've been told it's unacceptable. Next week against St Albans, I know it's in the distance at the moment, but are they now every single one of them fighting for a place? It's best you can. Well, we got, we got... I think we've missed Falston and Hayfield and Cody Cook, so they come back into the, the squad and more than likely the team.